Rachel, my name is Jenna and I'm here to turn in my sister Lindsay for all her closet clutter. As you can see, we share a pretty large closet where almost 85% of the clothing is hers. And it's because Lindsay just really likes a good sale. So she'll go to the store and see a good bargain and then she'll buy clothing without even having a reason to wear it sometimes. As you can see, some of her clothing still has the tags on them. And everything in here is packed so tightly that she can't even see or remember what she has half the time. Like over here, she has three black cardigans that are almost identical. Down here, she has four pairs of black booties and almost 20 pairs of jeans. I really think my sister Lindsay needs some organizational help. If you're in a relationship with someone and you don't honor and respect that person, you can't be happy with that person, right? It's exactly the same with your space. If yeah. you don't respect the space, you can't have a good relationship with it. So for example, the closet, you have to respect the space we're in. Now, first thing you need to do is to pull everything out and see what's in there and group like things together. Now we've got a few shots here. I know you guys did this, three identical black cardigans, which is hilarious. <laughs> the record for me in a closet was oh ten, my ten God, identical look cardigans. At that. Shoes. <laughs> Two pairs of boots, booties exactly the same. And you can see in the middle and to the far right, other shoes exactly the same. Uh, a whole lot of camisoles that matched. And I know you had more than 20 pairs of jeans stacked in there. So there's, there's, not, the, there's not the amount of outrage I'm expecting from this audience. So I'm wondering if all of them... It's like, so what's the problem? It may be too relatable. <laughs> I know, that. that's what I'm wondering. OK, so let's, let's talk about... I three pairs of jeans, yeah, yeah. and I only like one of the three, and I'm not... Saying which. You know, it's like, I'll yeah, hurt the other two. Look, feelings, everybody's but... looking at, well, this is not really a problem. <laughs> okay, so let's talk. Look, in the third row. Have you what? Ever cleaned out, yeah. When was the last time that you cleaned out your closet? Like, literally, I know something I know, away. No, I know exactly when it was. It was the 3rd of January. Ago. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at how we can control okay. this a little right. bit. So the first thing you need to do is to create zones and limits in your closet. Zones mean like things go together. Limits mean you set the number of things you can keep. In your hanging space, for example, and you have to expand or, or reduce this depending on the space you have, you can use something like hangers to do that. For example, a set number of heavy hangers for coats, mm. white hangers for blouses, a different colour for, um, for skirts and a third colour for dresses. Now, this might seem a little silly, but straight away you can see here, yeah. it fits the space you have, you set a limit, and when you want to add another one of that style, you have to let one go. Mm. Oh, zones, that's good. That's for kids, when they get a new toy, they that's have exactly to donate it. one. So, zones okay. and limits, and this will force you into really keeping control of the clothes in your so closet. So you start by saying, I want four coats. You start by saying, how much space do I have? Right, but then she also <laughs> has to whittle down what she has. That's too. exactly it. Okay. Get rid of stuff no longer fits you. Chant, you, only, you wear 20% of your clothes 80% of the time. I can guarantee most of the clothes you don't wear. 20% is high. Yeah. I live in Adidas sweats or my pajamas when I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> and jeans. Jeans are a classic thing. If you have 20 pairs of jeans, I can guarantee you don't wear between 5 and 10 pair. Yeah. The way, what you should think about is arranging them in the same way you see them in a store. If they're hanging, it's, they all look the same. Fold them and label them according Boots, to straight, the... straight, skinny, that's clever. And then straight away you can find the ones you need and I can guarantee after a couple of months the bottom couple of pairs you will never wear mm -hmm. get rid of them as well he has said that so many times over the years to me and it's so true every time I clean out an area for myself or my husband or help my mom the bottom half of every stack you, you know, don't want yeah. and haven't worn in a really long time yeah. yeah and then the last thing of all and this is a really simple thing to do I do this myself Take a few photos of your closet, and I've got some here, so that when you're out shopping, these are the shirts in my closet, and I have a photo of all of the sweaters. So that you don't go double up all the time. And then you can mm, right. see exactly what you have, because we tend to buy the same thing over and over. For example, three black cardigans. <laughs>